Now let's jump back to the SM7B being overhead mic'd about a foot away from my mouth. Terrible idea, but hey, we're doing it. And let's talk about hitting 10,000 subscribers on this channel. First thing I want to say is thank you so much. This has been a long time in the making. This channel has been around since 2018, but the very first episode of this podcast launched back in October of 2015. That means I have been spending a day a week for eight and a half years producing this podcast. 384 episodes. This is episode 384. I just thought it would be fun to come up with some statistics or analytics. If we assume only four hours per episode, which is very conservative in many cases, it far exceeds four hours an episode. But if we say four hours per episode, that is 1,000 536 hours spent on this podcast. The channel that currently hit 10,000 subs, the BSP channel, was only launched on the 30th of July, 2018. Before then, this podcast was uploaded to the Geeks Rising YouTube channel from 2015 to 2018. Then it had a very brief run on the podcastage channel for about a month until I realized, oh, they don't care about this at all. They are here for microphones. How about you don't shove your ideas about content creation and news down their throat? Leave them alone. So I decided to launch a standalone podcast channel, and that is why we are here. Little bit of thought process on why I initially moved it off of Geeks Rising. I understood that variety channels weren't really working on YouTube anymore. Because if you have a subscriber who subscribes to watch the Bander Says podcast, and then they also get recommendations for the Paper Robots, Sunshine and Power Cuts, other shows, Tourette's podcast, they may not click on those. And when the YouTube algorithm sees people not clicking on those recommendations, the next time a Bander Says podcast episode is published, they're going to be less likely to recommend that video to those subscribers. So that is why the whole variety channel thing kind of died off and lost a lot of popularity and why I decided, okay, I think it's time to stop having all the podcasts hosted on this single hub and move it off onto its own channel. And I thought, yeah, let's give podcastage a go. Terrible idea, but you live, you learn. I don't think too much damage was done by that. And that's another thing I want to share. It's okay to experiment and try things on YouTube with your channel. It's likely not going to destroy anything. It's likely not going to set your channel on fire. I thought, hey, let's give this a shot, see if it works. If not, we can just stop doing it. We can move on from there. And that is exactly why I was okay doing it. So don't be terrified to try stuff out on your channel. I won't say that it will not kill your channel because I don't know what goes on behind YouTube's algorithm under the hood or anything. So I won't speak in certainty, but I will say it's probably not going to. It's not likely to. I can't imagine it would, but maybe it will. <laughs> so maybe don't experiment. I don't know. To celebrate hitting 10,000 subscribers, I thought it would be kind of fun to share this compilation of clips from my video podcasts ranging from 2015 to I think the last clip is from 2023. It is just hilarious how deeply uncomfortable I am in the early clips, how um much I um 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 say um. I have no idea what I'm doing. It is painful to watch, painful to listen to. But we all start somewhere, and it is hilarious. So let's go ahead and check out that clip now. I think I'm slowly losing my mind. But uh, yeah, welcome. This is the first uh, podcast that's actually going on YouTube. We'll go ahead and get into it in a second. But before we do that, as per usual, leave a five-star rating and subscribe and do all that stuff in iTunes. That's why I do it, because I want you guys to understand me a little bit better, because nobody does. <sighs> Anyways... <laughs> Jesus. And, and for those of us who don't uh, get incinerated or vaporized by a nuclear bomb, we're all going to suffer tremendously. Hey, you're exposed. 
And now that we've told you that, go ahead and subscribe to PewDiePie. I doubt I would get a comment saying, Oh my god, that microphone sounds so bad! Ah! And then the person dies? <laughs> what? Okay, if you want to swim, just paddle your arms and then pushing a kid into a pool. And guess what? Unless you train that kid, that kid is gonna drown. <laughs> and I don't want that. Albeit, I'm not going to be a 19-year-old blonde girl who's five foot tall, but I will do that. <laughs> and it will be a blast. And then the wheel started turning. <laughs> the wheel started turning, and I thought, oh, I can torture him. This is gonna be fantastic. I have to say, I think that's quite a progression, but I can't help but laugh because I think the worst sounding clip of the bunch was the very last clip from, <laughs> from 2023, where it should be the best sounding. But to defend myself, I was testing out a super budget foam windscreen from Amazon that just killed all the high frequency, and I did not account for that with an EQ, so it just sounded dull and dead sounded terrible, and I was using one of my favorite microphones, <laughs> which makes it even more painful. It was the Neumann, hello, Neumann KMS-105. It should sound fantastic. It does sound fantastic. But when you put a 50-cent ball foam windscreen on, yeah, it kills the top end and makes it sound dull and dead and awful. But I wanted to share that with you because I thought that was kind of fun looking back over the years. And I want to send a sincere thank you to each and every one of you. If you are subscribed to this channel, thank you so much. If you follow the audio version of this podcast, thank you so much. If you choose to spend any amount of your day listening to me talk, it really does mean the world to me. So thank you so much for giving me something to do for the last eight and a half, nine years. It gives me a great hobby, it's a great outlet, and it gives me purpose. So thank you so much for all the support over the years. 10,000 subscribers, I never thought this podcast would get five. So thank you very much from the bottom of my heart.